That was great. Well, while we're recovering from that, we're going to listen to a bit of folk music now from June Tabor. Oh, I've got a dog, and a good dog too, and it keeps him at me keeping. But it catch those days that run by night while the gamekeepers lie asleeping. My dog and me went out one night for the lonesome education. I'll jump down and the way she run right into some large plantation. She had not gone so very far before something stopped her running. Oh, I'm done, she loudly cried, stop a minute, your uncle's coming. Oh, I took out my little pen knife and quickly I did punch her. She turned out one of the female kind, how glad am I, I caught her. I fix her up and I smooth her down and I puts her in me keeping. I says to me dog, it's time to be going while the gamekeepers lie asleeping. Away me and my dog did go back into the town. We took that hair to a labouring man and we sold it for a crown. We went into some public house and there we got quite mellow. But we spent that crown and another one too. Don't you think I'm a good hearted fellow? Oh, I've got a dog and a good dog too and it keeps him in me keeping. But they catch those hairs that run by night while the gamekeepers lie asleep in. Ladies and gentlemen, June Tabor, thank you very much. Thank Come with us, Mr. Smashing. Hello, Tom. Hello, Tom. Pleased to meet you. Hello. This is Stephen. Hello, Stephen. Hello. What dialect are you saying? Well, it's a song from, uh, from Dorset. It comes from uh, the singing of a gypsy called Jasper Smith. And it was collected probably around early 1900s when oh, he was still floating. That. Was um, the way you when you've done the vibrato, I noticed you. Yeah, you chin wave. Is that a knack, or is that what you have to learn, or what? Well, amaze me. It, it takes a while to get used to it. I drove my mother mad for weeks learning in the loo. And <laughs> <laughs> better acoustics. Well, yes. I mean, one, the acoustics are good, and, and two, it's solitude. And you're and just learning at your own convenience. Really. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, that's well, something like that. I, I heard a record of somebody singing like that, and I thought, I want to learn to be able to do it. And it, and it took a while. You have to somehow shake the back of your throat, because, you, in fact, you're singing about four notes almost at once. <laughs> mm. And then I also noticed when I looked in the mirror that my jaw shakes as well, but you can't help that. Oh, right. Do you think about the notes that you've got to sing, or does that just happen anyhow? Um, you have a vague idea of whether you're going to decorate up or decorate down. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you tricks. know, and the twiddly bits, yeah, mm. it's almost called decoration. No. Where do you find your songs? Like well, these days mostly from books. Um, I started off learning them from other people. Yeah. But once you, you start doing a certain number of gigs, you have to have your own material, you can't steal from anybody else. So I look in books and I listen to tapes of old people that people may call they died of their old songs. Mm. Is there many about? Yeah, there are quite a lot. Um, a lot of the work's been done by Americans now. The first person to actually go out and collect songs like that was Cecil Sharp, of course, mm. in the mm. um, early part of this century. And then other people took up his work. And there's still, in mostly remote parts of the country, old people who still know the old songs. And in a lot of cases, they're not getting passed on because the way it was that they were handed on was that mm. the, yeah. the children would learn the songs from their parents. Yes. How old are the, the actual folk songs? Well, probably the, the kind of versions that we sing now are late 19th century, but the original songs are probably a lot older than that. And then the people changed them as they wanted they to. And to, to yeah. a completely different form, really, didn't Probably they? a similar yeah. storyline, and then they would change it to suit their own circumstances, so they would really yeah. be singing about their own lives. Do you do most of your singing unaccompanied? Yes, almost all of it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what, what, did you, what did you have to do to become folk singer? Of the year. Um, work very hard, I think. <laughs> well, we're going to finish the show now with a, a song called Yellow Submarine. Would you care to join? Yeah, yes, yes, oh, all right. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs>